if you've ever quit your diet because tracking calories stressed you out, you're in the right place. I'm here to walk you through my three-step process to take you from tracking nothing all the way up to tracking calories. Because if you've been in this game before, if you've tried dieting and to lose body fat, you know that calories matter. It's all about that calories in versus calories out relationship. But taking a look at that relationship and manipulating it can be really overwhelming and really stressful. And when we get overwhelmed and stressed, we're really putting our results at risk because fat loss is already stressful. We don't need to stress ourselves out by how we track calories, how we take a look at what goes into our body, which is why I want to give you this three-step process so that you can continue to stay on track with that diet and finish out this fat loss phase and keep your results. Today, we're going to cover that three-step process by looking at what it is that you eat, taking a look at the calories in one of your most crucial meals, and then taking a look at the calories in an entire day. Let's get into it. The first thing that we wanna do is just start tracking what we're eating. We're not even too concerned with the calories that go in, but we need to take a look at what foods are coming in. Where are they coming from? Where are we short on some things? And where do we have too much of others? We have to know the what first because food quality is really important And sometimes by just making that simple adjustment alone into subbing this thing in and swapping this out, we could see some fat loss results without even tracking a single calorie. Ultimately, when we get to our end result, this is the place that we want to live. Just taking a look at the food items that go in and out of our body to maintain the results that we've worked hard to achieve. So typically with clients, I recommend tracking everything that you eat or drink in a three to seven day span. It's different for each and every client depending on their experience with tracking. But it's a great way to point out some weaknesses and identify your strengths. And the cool part is you can see results and not even have any clue the amount of calories that are going in. If you never knew how important it was to just take a look at what you're eating, drop a comment below. It's a surprising thing to see the big results that you can see just by taking some things out and adding certain things in. Now we get to our second idea for how to progress you towards tracking calories. What we wanna do is we wanna track the calories at one meal. When I work with clients, I tell them to track the most consistent meal. One that's fairly similar on a day-to-day basis and one that you never miss. For me, that's breakfast. My breakfast is the same each and every day. And while it may differ in amounts depending on where I'm at in my year of, of fat loss and my year in my journey, it stays pretty much the same. And that's what you want to do. Get comfortable looking at the calories in that meal. Use a meal that you know that you never miss because You're not going to forget it and you're helping to establish that routine of tracking the calories in that meal. It doesn't have to be a daily thing. You may prep your breakfast for the entire week. Great, that's the calories already calculated for the entire week. Maybe it's lunch, maybe it's dinner. It could be a snack as well, but choose one meal that you are most consistent with and track it for five to seven days. If you want to know more ideas about how to have some consistency in those meals. If you wanna find out how you should break your meals down and make sure that you get enough meals in in a day, make sure that you hit subscribe to this channel. I'm using this channel to put out videos each and every week to help give you recommendations on recipes, on how to meal plan, and how to stick to that diet so you can see your best fat loss results yet. Now we get to our third factor. And it's kind of phased. There are different pieces to it. But now's the point where we start to track everything that we eat. We're tracking the calories in all of our meals. But you may not be ready to make that jump from tracking one meal to every meal. I know for me, if I had never tracked calories before and I eat six meals a day, adding five more meals to track would be pretty overwhelming. Maybe that's you. 
Maybe you eat six times a day. That's okay. Add a second meal and then a third and a fourth, fifth, sixth. Gradually work your way up. Maybe you'd only eat a breakfast, lunch, and a dinner. That's fine. Then may, it may be easier for you to just make that leap from tracking one meal to tracking every meal. Do what works for you. This process doesn't need to be rushed. And the cool part about tracking calories is that once you get comfortable with it, you have a pretty good idea of how many calories are in each thing. I always make the joke that I'm much more reliable at looking at a plate and telling you how many calories are on a plate than looking at somebody's age or weight and making a guess on that. It takes practice. It's just like riding a bike. You didn't get on and bike the Tour de France right away. In fact, you may have never done that. The Tour de France might be macro tracking for you. But it took you practice to work up to biking around the block, to going for bike rides. You have to practice. It's a skill. Tracking calories is a skill that you can build. Take the time to work that way from one meal to the next to the next. And if it still feels too fast and overwhelming for you, break it down even further. Track one component to the meal. Maybe it's the protein. Maybe it's the vegetables. Choose something so that you can start building that habit and teaching yourself to associate foods with different amounts of calories. If you really struggle with cravings and hunger in your diet, I wanna offer you a copy of the Cravings Cheat Sheet. This Cravings Cheat Sheet is designed to help you curb those cravings, save you some calories, and help you stay on track for those fat loss results. Because my guess is that if you're here watching this video today, cravings have probably led to you throwing in the towel once or twice before. It doesn't need to be that way. The Cravings Cheat Sheet can help you beat any craving at any time without relying on willpower. Click that link in the description for your very own copy today.